I'm Michael Gittleson, critical care transport nurse. I've been with Boston MedFly coming up on a year and a half now. We are requested from either outlying towns or outlying medical centers or facilities to provide critical care transport that a patient might need above a level of ALS or BLS that's out in the field. What that means is that we bring a wide variety of skills, very specific, very detailed skills, such as providing definitive airways. We are requested out in the field to intubate if a patient's required it for transport. We have a large, pretty much a mobile pharmacy of medications that we can use. We can bring a mobile ICU to a patient who requires that in between transport, and we can get them to a level one trauma center fast if they're a trauma patient. I like to say I knew a lot about the organization, but I guess I really didn't know what goes on behind the scenes here. Out in the hospitals, when you're out working, you see the blue suits come in. It's pretty much like seeing the special forces come in. They come in, they do their thing, and they're gone. It's like, wow, it's just like SEAL team that just came in. You don't put a personality to them. You see the blue suits come in, very polite, very pleasant, always taking good care, and you look at them in awe of that skill set that there's no fear. And I was just looking at it like, I want to get there someday. Coming to Boston MedFlight, I think it met all my expectations, if not more. The people here have been absolutely amazing. I've been welcomed in very well. Um, they've made really good relationships with people here, good friendships, good camaraderie, and good teamwork on calls also. I think Boston MedFlight strives to have the best of the best. They're really good about training you. When you come here, you don't expect to know everything, but Boston MedFlight can teach you what you don't know, and I think that's really good. What sets Boston Med Flight apart is we are ready at a moment's notice, whether it's that person that has that bad luck, gets hit by a truck or a car, or whether it's someone that's really sick at an outside hospital and they just don't have the resources at that place to care for them. We are there at a moment's notice to get them to where they need to be quickly. We have rotorcraft aircraft that we can take and we cover all of Massachusetts in under 30 minutes. We also have critical care ground ambulances, which are mobile ICUs, where if weather's bad or if the patient doesn't need a helicopter, but we can provide tertiary level care en route there. I'm beyond fortunate to be here. I, I tell myself, you know, not to, not to sound cheesy, but I'm so lucky to be here because there's millions of qualified nurses out there, and I'm just so fortunate that I was able to have this opportunity.